as you know, the introduction of MCP, especially when N8 and have launched their MCP tool in their workflow engine, that have created a lot of buzz and rightfully so because that have created a lot of opportunity for everyone like us to create a crazy amount of automation for free almost if you are using self-hosted N8. Now, one of the reason why I haven't covered about that in the channel is because in this channel, we mostly covered the voice AI agent and I have been looking for a specific way to integrate this N8 and MCP ecosystem into our voice AI agent. So I have been looking for it and now we have got it. So in this quick video, I'm going to show you a very quick demo about how you can leverage this MCP protocol, especially with N8 and using it as the backbone of the voice AI agent system and see how this is going to open up a plethora of opportunities where we can do crazy amount of AI automation in near future. So let's go to the screen and as always we'll start with the demo and then I'll take you through step by step with the N8 template and then I'll take you through very small snippet of code that I've used to create this crazy voice AI agent system. Let's go ahead and explore the tutorial, shall we? So let's test this MCP server. Hey, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. How can I assist you today? Can you find out what I have in my calendar today? Here are your scheduled events for today. 1. Train to Ipswich. Time, okay. 1 a.m. Uh, okay, well, hang on. So do I have any meeting at around 9 a.m. today? I, I thought I had booked some meeting. Yes, you do have a meeting at 9 a.m. today. It's a quick meet with Andrew. Scheduled from 9 a.m. to 9.30 a.m. Okay, that's brilliant. Can you create another event uh, with Troy around uh, 10 a.m., please? I have created the meeting with Troy. It is scheduled for today from 10 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. That's brilliant. I mean, I wanted to actually have um, sort of uh, opportunity discussion with him regarding our new startup. So can you please create me a task as well around 9.45 p.m. so that I can prepare for the meeting? I've created a task for you to prepare for the meeting with Troy. You can check and manage it using Google Tasks. So here we are in the system where I will try and show you the uh, exact step-by-step -step process on how to create this MCP server and how to integrate it with it. Now, I'm not going to talk a lot more about MCP in this particular video because uh, I'm sure by this time you would have heard about an MCP and how it works and everything. But regardless, please let me know if you need more info about the N8 and MCP and how it works. Although I'm gonna tell you a very quick snippet about how it works. I, I think almost five months back, I have already created a video about how to create a custom MCP server where I have, I have also talked in much more details about the MCP server and how it works. So please go ahead and take a look at this video. That will give you a complete picture about an MCP server. Now in a very short, if I want to say it, the way MCP work is uh, the, traditionally, if you create an AI agent, in the AI agent, you would have to add different tools. So if I just add an AI agent here, you just need to create add a bunch of tools, right? So those tools would be a REST API or some of the SDK library. That means the agent, you need to specify the tool name and specific format, which the agent would understand, and then only it can call the tool. So you can imagine if the tool format changes or the API spec changes or anything, that means your AI agent won't be able to communicate with the tool. That is what probably MCP is solving. In case of MCP, you have an abstract protocol on top of the API layer, which is where for AI agent, it makes it easy to sort of connect with any of the tool. And that is exactly, I'm gonna show you how it is, how it does work basically. Now, this is the N810 MCP server trigger node. This is the native one. That means this is something that N810 have launched already in their, as part of their package. And this is a self-hosted one that I'm showing. This is also, of course, available in their cloud version. Now with this server trigger node, this server trigger node is coming with an SSE endpoint. Now, if you traditionally talk about MCP, there is an SSE endpoint and then there is STD IO endpoint. If it is an STD IO endpoint, that is mainly for use cases where you want to run a server locally and you want to have the agent also sitting locally and they want to communicate. That is where the MCP server with STD IO is mainly meant of SSE, which is for server side events. That is more when your AI agent in another server and your MCP is another server and they want to communicate, that is where the SSE comes into play. So basically, 
when you have an SSE endpoint, the AI agent calls the SSE endpoint, it can list all the tools and that and then it can execute different tools using the action. That is how it generally works. And what that actually helps us is that means from a voice AI agent point of view, all I had to do is connect this MCP uh, server URL. And once I connect this with this agent, I can just go ahead into my N810 and keep on adding new tools. I don't have to actually even touch the live kit agent or, or for that matter, any of the agent because for the agent, it remains same. All it has to do is to call this SSE URL list of whatever tools that is available and then it can just do the call to the agent. So, and it can just uh, do the call or execute the action on different tools that is available within that MCP server. And this actually opens up a lot of possibility. Just imagine you can create different AI agentic flow within uh, NA10 and you can just tie it up with your live kit server. And that means all you do is just give it a voice command and your NA10 workflow automation tool will be able to process a lot of the AI agentic flow by itself, right? That is like a really, really powerful tool, I believe. And we're going to cover all of this, of course, in future in the channel. So make sure to subscribe the channel. Now, let's quickly go through what we have done. We have added this MCP server trigger uh, that you can do easily. Just search with MCP and then you should be able to see this MCP server trigger node. Just in there, you will see a test URL and production URL. I would say use the production URL uh, in this case, but if you want to just do, do a quick test, use the test URL, that's fine. And as soon as you do that, uh, it will come like this and then you can start adding tools. Now, N810 have, I think, no end to list of tools. There's literally every tool that you need is there, which is awesome, right? I, I remember just a few days back, I created this tutorial where I have shown you how you can add 100 tools in 100 minutes, and basically where I have used Composio. But this feels even more powerful because here you don't have to spend anything. All you have to do is just self-host N810 in a production setup, or if you don't know anything about self-hosting, don't worry, just you go and register into the N810 cloud instance and just have access to all of these tools. Then you just come here, add different tools. For example, I have added Google specific tools, so you can add Google Calendar tool, Drive tool, Task tool, Google Sheet tool. Again, I am sort of speechless what N810 have done. In, in this instance. So if I just add the Google Calendar tool here, you can now here add different actions from here, what this tool will do. It can do create, delete, get, get many update operations and everything. So let's say if I do create operations. Now, one of the things that you need to do if you are integrating with any of the AI agent or voice AI agent, you need to let the voice AI agent decide the start time and end time, right? So you should not set it now variable or the now plus one hour because that is making it not effective for AI agent use cases. So all you need to do is just, if you have a bunch of calendar also, you can select, uh, you do not select it, just click this button. But for, the, for this use cases, I'm just gonna select my email address, which is the calendar that I want to manage using this AI agent. And then for the start, just click this, and then you'll be saying that it will define by the model. This is what you want. You don't want a static value here. You want the AI model, to pull the values in all of this customizable or parameterized attributes. So just use that and that's it. Your tool is ready. Now you keep on adding different tools. Even you want to add other Google Calendar tool, just add it there, just duplicate it. Maybe here you want to have, let's say, get an event or maybe get many events. So that will actually get all of the event that is there in your calendar in a day. Again, just click there and there let everything be decided by the ai model what that intends is you need to use a really good ai model because this is all tool calling and so that means you need a model which can do tool calling with more accuracy than the other so i you i think in my opinion you can use gpt 4.1 in this case and that should work and really that's it and now your mcp server is ready all you have to do is just take this production url Come back to the code. So basically this is all available. This code and this MCP template is all available inside the code base. Just import this JSON file. Uh, just clone this repository and import this JSON file into your N8 instance and you should be having this template ready. So all you need to do here is just come here, create an .env file and add it as Zapier MCP URL. So what you need to do is just uh, clone this uh, .env.example file just as I have done. I've created a .env file 
keep your open your api key you, if you are using cartesia tts use a cartesia if not don't worry about it because in this example we are using open ai voice as well uh, and then use deepgram for your deepgram api key that is for speech to text and here you would need to add the url that you have copied from here so this production url just copy it and update it here that's it so your live kit code is ready all you need to do is just create an environment uh, again everything is written on this readme.md file all you need to do is just create a conda or python environment and just run like python and then the agent.py and then just hit console and this is one of the new thing that i've came up with live kit that i really like because now you don't have to create a live kit client like i had to do in all of the previous video which used to take a lot of time so that means now i can just quickly create an agent and test it locally with this console command so all you need to do is just run this command and that will run your agent locally and now it's hearing my voice hey can you hear me yes i can hear you how can i assist you today so that, that, that you can see that it's now able to hear you. You can interact with it without even creating a uh, live kit client like a Node.js client or anything, which is really, really good. Now, let me quickly run through the code. So first thing first, you have the agent.py and it's again, very, very simple. It's not any complex code. As you can see, it's around 80 lines of code. All we are doing here is we have introduced this two new tool which is uh, mcp server sse and mcp tool integration we created an agent here that's called function agent again this is all new live kit 1.0 version so this is not the traditional live kit that i've covered and i i think they have done pretty pretty good job now so this is really really good now all we have done here is created an agent with an init method and as you can see this is like what eight or ten lines of instruction we i don't have to give a tool specific instruction anymore with mcp because with the mcp with tool calling it is now able to actually list the tool and it can intelligently detect the tool this is almost we are going closer to the gio or you can say it as an it uh, as a complete agentic way of managing our ai automations so all we have done is just said you're a helpful assistant communicating through voice use the available mcp tool to answer questions that's it we are not saying how to use the tool and all these bits we are using gpt4 please use gpt4.1 if you wish and i think that is even better in that in some sense i have tested and then we have an llm node and this is a really really important part basically what is happening is live kit as a framework don't support mcp because in as you can imagine with mcp there is a bit of dynamic Thing that is happening where with every tool you have to create a dynamic uh, function calling template that live kit supports so that is why we had to create a bunch of code here uh, which i don't want you you to delve into too much but all in all what it is doing is basically uh, in this three file what we are trying to do is we are listing the tool and then we are automatically using this create uh, decorated tool is we are transforming an mcp tool into a live kit supported tool so basically it's just reading the schema properties it's finding whatever is the required attribute and then it's just type mapping it those attribute and then it's basically transforming an mcp tool format into a live kit tool format it is doing and we are basically using that in, inside the agent.py file that's it and then all we are doing is session.say and whatever tool called message that is coming after the tool execution we are just the agent is basically speaking that when you are starting the agent again with the entry point uh, we are space server here we are now creating the agent with tools where we are specifying the mcp server and that's it and then we are just registering the session and we are starting the session and that works again as i said this is really really small code 70 to 80 lines of code if you want to deep dive about how the transformation is happening again not something i would say it's necessary because this is all done for you all you need to do is just use it but if you really want to know just go through this code it's very simple there are list tool and call tool which is the essential part of mcp using list tool you list all the tools that is available in that mcp server with call tool you specifically call a tool and for calling the tool what we need to do is we just need to transform from an mcp 
tool format into a live kit function or live kit agent tool format and that's what we are doing in this particular agent tool.ui and util. Exactly that's it we are doing here and I don't want to drag this too much. Please go ahead download this code. This is all free. Use the video description and download the code. And let me know what you think, what all different automation idea that you have when after seeing this live kit and NA10 integration. I hope now you have seen how easy it is to integrate live kit with NA10. As, I, as I've said before, please try it, please download the code and test it and let me know in the comments how do you find these integrations and in general how this AI agent and AI automation space is booming up every day. Uh, with that said, I'm going to end this video. Please don't forget to like this, this video and subscribe to the channel because I'm going to bring a lot more tutorial onto the N8 and part because now this is actually opening up a lot more possibilities and um, hopefully I'll see you onto the next video. So until then, please take care.